Well, I was born with uh, congenital heart disease, so um, I was in and out of hospital all my life from when I was born up to when I had my transplant just over two years ago. After my heart transplant, I very quickly asked about my donor and I got very brief details and uh, one of the details was that he died in a cycling accident and I wanted to kind of do something uh, in his memory or as a bit of a nod to say thank you because you can't physically say thank you to anybody. So I asked for an exercise bike seven days after my operation to be brought into the room and, and I started cycling. I did seven minutes for seven days of my kind of new life and that's when I said to my wife, um, I'm going to take up cycling and it all got a bit out of hand from there really. We started setting up the charity, Transplant Association, which uh, provides uh, funding for NHS nurses uh, in transplant centres around the country. And the, the, the logical next step was to do a big ride. And, and every time I got on an EasyJet flight from Bristol to Newcastle, I often thought, what would it be like to cycle that? <laughs> and that's what we did. So we, eventually we had 50 people. Uh, it, we left from Ashton Gate in Bristol and uh, over four days, and it was amazing. So that ride has raised over £50,000. We'll be doing another event next year which will be more of a, a family-based event, um, not so physically challenging <laughs> and demanding uh, in terms of training time and stuff like that, but certainly 2017 will be the next big ride. There are people in hospital right now dying, waiting for a, a, a transplant. Um, every single day we see it within the groups that we're in and it's heartbreaking and it's just down to the lack of donors.